Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Covacam slider. Um, this is made in China. It is only $130. It is much cheaper than most sliders on the market for the features that it has. Um, one of the, my favorite things that it has, um, it's, it's a simple thing, but it's one of my favorites, is that it comes with a really nice bag. Um, so you have a bag and you have a shoulder strap on the back so you can throw it on your shoulder or over your body um, if you need to if you're traveling somewhere. It's also um, only about three feet long, so it's very easy to travel with and it is very lightweight. So let's open up the bag and take a look at the slider, why don't we? So within the bag you have a pocket um, right here. And this pocket can store some stuff. Um, it does come with um, it comes with a piece of like felt-like stuff that helps clean your slider, um, as well as some like lens-type cleaner stuff. That again, you can use this to help clean your slider if it gets a little dirty, so that you're able to make that nice fluent motion side to side. And then everything uses an Allen wrench, as far as tightening it down and everything. So you can put your Allen wrench in your little pocket here. So. Let's pull out the slider here, and we'll set this to the side. So here is your slider. It also comes with a ball mount, so you're able to mount your camera to this ball, and then you can control it. As well, you're able to control right here uh, how much torque you put into this, so how easy it is to slide, and you can tighten it down if you need to, if you need to do that. Um, as well, at the bottom um, of the sliding pieces, this is where your Allen wrench would go in, and you can tighten these up or loosen them up depending on what you need. So it's really nice. You also have, on each end, you have a piece that you can bring down. So if you're needing to get a little more stability, um, you can do that. So we can, and they go all the way around, so not all the way, all the way around, but as you can see, all the way. It stops right there, but so you can bring them out here. If you needed just a little bit extra stability, you can tighten that down, and you can do that on each end, which is really nice. Uh, mostly what I would use this um, slider for would be throwing it on a tripod. That, to me, makes the most sense. And the nice thing about this is it's very lightweight, so a lot of tripods are going to be able to handle it. We are going to do that in this video um, here in a little while. So as you can see, it's pretty stable. Um, you, and you just screw this bad boy on like this. Once that's screwed on, and as you can see, it can go side to side. And then you can control, you unscrew both of these on these ends, and then you'll have full control of the ball. As well, you have two ways to balance it. You have one right here over to the right side, so you can make sure that it's balanced this way, or evenly balanced. And then you have a second one, and we'll move this over here so you guys can see it, a second one right here at the top. So you can make sure everything fits in the bubble correctly so your camera is not going to be tilted in a way that you don't want it, which again is another nice feature. A lot of sliders do not come with the actual uh, quick release system that, like this has. You can unscrew this so you're able to release your camera much faster, which I really like about it. And just about everything on this all is going to fit that Allen wrench. This whole entire system is set to use that one tool if you need to fix stuff. That's something I really, really like about this product. It makes it much easier to, to make adjustments and quick adjustments uh, unless you lose your Allen wrench tool, you're going to have to go out and buy another one. Um, then again, a lot of other sliders that are on the market that are going to cost you a lot more than $130. Um, again, this is a Chinese made slider, but it is premium quality and it's one of the nicer ones that I've had, a, had the pleasure of using. Um, they do not pay me to, uh, to do these, uh, to talk about their products. Um, I just, uh, they send them out to me, I get to test them out and if I like them, I just tell the honest truth and I'm pretty happy with this product as well. Um, they also did the X-Series uh, Monocam and that's another product I really like so that they do. So anyway, so you're able to slide it and then you could just t toss your camera right on there. You know, you just pull this piece off right here. Ooh, not good. Make sure we keep that cap on there. And then you have a little piece under here and you can just tighten it up. And again, I mostly use the slider on a tripod, which we're going to set it up on a tripod here in a second. And I find that to be the best use of the slider. But again, you just never know where you need to have the slider. Um, so what we'll do is we'll tighten this up. And we'll tighten both of these sides up. And then we can throw a lens on there. And what I, what I think is probably maybe one of the, the better ideas, if you want to, get a piece of string or something, and you can attach 
down here at the base and you could use the string to slowly pull it from side to side or you can use your hand as you can see it's pretty fluent and we will show some actual test footage that I took at a family reunion this uh, Thanksgiving season and you'll be able to see uh, some, of the, some of the shots I was able to get with this slider which I thought some of the shots really came out that were pretty cool. I got some shots of like some of my family members cooking and stuffing, stuff like that. So as you can see it's very very nice and it's very smooth as it goes back and forth and if I wanted to I could tighten it up a little bit and then it would be steady it would stay exactly in there now one thing I do not like about the slider and maybe I just have not figured out how to do this part on the slider I could be wrong is I don't I can't seem to figure out how to how to lock this from being able to spin at all times um, it does not appear that you can lock this spin it's always gonna be able to spin which if you're doing basic sliding um, like this it, the spin you know it's got enough torque on it that it's not gonna move that much on you but let's say that we wanted to shoot um, on a tripod doing the up and down motion so we want to do something like this well the problem with that is and you can do it don't get me wrong it's doable um, but you've just got to take more time and more care so as you flip it up and down you could spin forwards if you aren't paying attention so you kinda gotta hold your camera and then you're able to get your up and down you're able to get that up and down motion as you can notice it doesn't really move much let's loosen this up a tad bit more and I'm able to go up and down pretty nice but if I'm not paying attention next thing I know I'm going up and down and there's nothing to lock that in um, from what I can tell so that's one thing I do not like about the slider that's pretty much my only big complaint about this slider so far you have three different points at the bottom right here to hook in a tripod um, if you want the most steadiest shot possible you probably want to hook a tripod here and hook a tripod here um, but I have a pretty nice tripod um, that I'm gonna hook it to set it up on and I'm not too worried about uh, about the tripod not being able to handle the weight but if you have a cheaper lightweight tripod you're probably gonna want to use two of them because it's not going to be able to handle uh, the slider as well when it's over on one side or the other your tripod may bow you know if you got those really cheap uh, Walmart Myers uh, any of those cheap $30 tripods they're probably not going to hold the slider that well unless you're using two of them one on each side and then it can slide from side to side so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out the nice tripod of mine we're gonna hook it onto here and I'm gonna show you a couple different shots that you can get with the tripod and then we'll actually show you some real footage that we took um, when I was at my family reunion for this Thanksgiving season. And, uh, and there you go. You'll be able to get a full review of this awesome product. It's only $130, which I think is, again, very cheap for a decent slider. I'm going to set up the slider on my Y-Fang Fluid Head tripod. And uh, this tripod has no problems holding the slider when set up. Again, a cheaper tripod, you're going to probably want two of them connected to your slider to get a nice fluent shot that's not going to be shaking when you're using it. So the first thing you want to do is take off the base off the tripod. We're going to set the tripod down. If you guys would like to see the review of the Y-Fang tripod and fluent head setup, again, there'll be a link right there. You can go check it out. Pretty good review if you guys are looking for a new tripod. Back to the slider. So we'll pull the slider out and you're going to want to connect the base to the slider. I'm going to do it right in the center because I think that's the best spot so that you're not going to get um, issues when doing the slider with this bigger tripod. So uh, most things are going to be a flathead screwdriver. Well I find using coins like a penny, I carry that around anytime I'm going to need to be able to screw camera equipment together, um, set up stuff. I find it to be the best way to do things. So what we'll do is we will slide this in and what we're going to do is we're just going to attach it. You do have two different holes um, so that you have two different options for what type of screw you're going to screw into, which is kind of nice. It's not your standardized uh, setup like most camera equipment. So if you do need a larger screw, you do have the option of the larger screw. So once that's nice and tight, maybe we could tighten it up a little bit more. There we go. So now what we'll do is we'll bring the tripod back up. And it looks like one of my things is not tightened up. And then all we're going to do is just slide the slider right onto it. And as you can see, it's going to, all the weight's going to be down here. So what we need to do is we need to tighten everything up on this tripod. So first thing we need to do is get the base where we want it and tighten that base up. And then I need to lock my tripod. 
so it's not going to be sliding all over the place. And there you go. Once that's locked, it's going to move a tad bit, so we need to make sure we're fully locked here. We can unlock this now. And if you guys are going to put this on with your camera on the tripod, make sure this is locked in because it's going to just shoot your camera uh, from one side to the other and that could be damaging to your camera. So now we're on top of the tripod and we're able to get some nice fluent shots. Um, what I like to do when I'm shooting is I like to move this and this at the same time. So you can get these really cool kind of shots where you're moving and you're going from side to side and they just look really nice. Again, we're gonna show you some really cool shots at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. So as you can see, it's sitting on a tripod very comfortably. Um, you can do, you can set it up to go, and we'll, what we'll do is we'll unlock this a tad bit. So what we wanna do is if people that wanna shoot straight up and down, and we will, there we go, tighten everything in. Um, and then you, you do have the option to do you can go straight up and down. Again, like I said though, once you set that up, there does not seem to be a way to lock in this side to side right here. I don't know why, and maybe there's something I'm missing. Um, I'm going to contact the company and I will leave uh, information in the description bar um, if I was wrong um, about that and there is a way to lock it and I just haven't figured it out. And there you go, you can get that nice up and down shot, which I really like. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review of the Covacam slider. It's only $130. There will be a link down below on eBay. Again, they do not pay me to do these product placements. Uh, they, they did send out this slider for me to keep after the review. And uh, as you guys know, I try to be very honest. And if I don't like a product, then I'm going to say so. But I'm also very picky on the products I'm going to accept because I don't want to be doing reviews of products I don't like or don't think I'm going to like. So you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy the footage afterwards. Check us out on Facebook at David D Images, Twitter at Media Unlocked, and of course our website where we'll have a full write-up of the slider as well as many other write-ups and some really interesting Magic Lantern information that we've been putting out uh, over the last couple weeks. Uh, write-ups on that at MediaUnlocked.net. You guys have a great one. We'll catch you next time. Oh.